Good evening. Thank you for joining us. You're watching the news from Bahrain Television. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received the members of the representatives and Shura councils and senior state officials today. His Royal Highness stressed the importance of strengthening cooperation and unifying stances in order to eliminate dangers and challenges facing the nation. He stressed the need for increased awareness at both Gulf and Arab levels in order to achieve the best interests for Bahrain and Badly countries. He also emphasized the importance of foiling all attempts in aimed at threatening the, uni the unity of the countries and their societies. His Royal Highness affirmed that the government provided the people of Bahrain different services in the fields of health, education, housing and many others. He expressed pride in the cooperation between the government and the representative council and their efforts to benefit the country and its people. He confirmed that the government take the representative council's request into account and implement them in order to achieve citizens' aspirations, which are the kingdom's top priority. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister stressed that the government will always overcome challenges to achieve the aspirations of the country and its people, pointing out that the government works on speeding up projects related to citizens, stressing the government's keenness to provide high living standards for the people of Bahrain.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting today. His Royal Highness asserted the importance of the activating the role of a child protection centre of the Ministry of Labour and Social Development, directing relevant ministries and authorities to reconsider child-related legislation to deal with any issues of children exploitation. The Prime Minister also directed the Health Ministry to continue its precautionary procedures against the Zika virus to prevent it from entering the kingdom in cooperation with the international organizations and coordination with the Supreme Council for Health. He also directed to guarantee providing all kinds of medications to avoid any shortages in the pharmacies of governmental hospitals and health centers. He directed the Ministry of Works, Municipal Affairs and Urban Planning to provide necessary infrastructure needs for Shahura Shahra Khan village such as sewage and municipal services. The Prime Minister also directed all ministries and governmental bodies to follow up the needs of the people which are published in the press or any other mean including inquiries about housing services. He confirmed the government's commitment to meet all the needs of Bahrain's villages and cities. His Royal Highness followed up on the administrative and technical procedures undertaken to move fuel tanks from Arad to Bahrain International Airport and directed to speed up implementing the project taking into consideration all safety measures. The Cabinet meeting discussed a number of issues on its agenda, including a draft law that allows imposing travel bans on suspects of terror crimes. The meeting approved a draft law to amend some provisions of the Law of Property Acquisition for the benefit of the public. It also agreed on a draft law to monitor electoral campaign procedures and approved a draft agreement of friendship between Bahrain's Manama and China's Wawahan. An air services agreement between the government of Bahrain and the government of Finland was approved. It reviewed the results of the national tests of the 6th grade of May 2016 and were transferred to the Supreme Council for Education and Training Development. The meeting also discussed a proposal from the Council of Representatives regarding adopting the use of international article number the barcode. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa delegated the Minister of Transport and Communications Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed and Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs Hisham Al Jouda to attend a celebration at the Ritz Carlton Hotel this evening to mark the Egyptian National Day and the 64th anniversary of the 23rd of July Revolution. The ministers conveyed greetings of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and wishes to Egypt of further progress and prosperity. They also underlined the historic relations between the two countries and peoples in various domains. We are celebrating our national day and I'm so proud to have most of the officials coming to share it with us. And I just emphasized in my word that we are accustomed to that. Bahrainis are usually with Egyptians in most of the occasions. So I thank them for being here and I thank them for sharing this occasion with us. If you just ask any Egyptian over here, he'll tell you that Bahrain is his second home. And, and Bahrain has something special about it. People feel home here. And I just have the pleasure to inform you that His Majesty the King and our President, they are constantly talking to one another to make sure that they are activating all agreements. They are putting it into effect, which is something that makes us feel very responsible. And we are having constant meetings to make sure that they are put into force. The Bahraini-Egyptian relations has, uh, has been developing and uh, nurturing for many, many years. Uh, uh, we're privileged that just recently, during His Majesty's recent visit to Egypt, uh, there were just around 21 bilateral uh, cooperation agreements and memorandums of understanding in so many different fields. Uh, we aspire in Bahrain to boost our relations with Egypt uh, in all such fields, and we look forward to implementing these memorandums of understanding and uh, agreements uh, shortly.